compact, lightweight and carbon free. If you're looking for something small to go around the city with zero carbon footprint, there's a new option for you, the Citroen EC4. Now starting off, if you haven't seen, we have a review of the IC4. If you haven't seen it, click right here. But anyway, electric is the name of the game. So this is the fully electrified C4. And electrifying also describes its looks. Here with the new Citroen design, I really like these angular lights right here. Your daytime running lights as well as your headlamp cluster leading into the Citroen logo. Very, very beautiful, like an angry scarab. Very aggressive, cutting through the city. Fantastic. Now moving down here, you get some light blue accents to tell you that it is an electrified car. Now onto the side. Now before we get into today's review, if you're thinking about trading in your current car to buy a car like this Citroen EC4, try selling it in Quotes instead. Quotes helps you sell your car quickly and easily. With the new Quotes doorstep, get a professional inspection by our certified mechanics at your convenience anywhere on the island. Quotes will then auction out your car online to its wide network of dealers to bid on your car. Once bidding is complete, Quotes will update you with their best offer price at no obligation. It's that easy. To find out more, visit Quotes.com.sg. That's Q-U-O-T-Z.com.sg. Now, back to this EC4. Now, over by the side is a very beautiful silhouette of this car with electric blue accents like it's E to tell you that it's an EC4 as well as a blue down here. Now, another thing that's going to set it apart is 18-inch wheels instead of the 17-inch that you're going to find on the ice. The Citroen EC4 is priced at $173,000. The single electric motor produces 130 brake horsepower and 260 Nm of torque. The single-speed transmission brings the car from 0 to 100 km per hour in 10.8 seconds. The 50 kilowatt hour battery has a drive range of 363 km. For more details on the Citroen EC4 or any other car, head on to sgcarmart.com to help you make the smart choice on your next car. Now over by the rear, same as the ICE variant, very beautiful Citroen lights right here. I really, really find this quite very good to look at, especially seeing them on the road. Instantly, you see it's the new C4, stands up miles apart from the previous ones, and a little bit of a, I don't know, washboard texture here. Interestingly, open up the boot, still get the same 380 litres of boot space that you find inside the ICE variant. Of course, will it pass the anti-trolley length test? Unfortunately not, but that is to be expected of this segment. Still, you can swallow up the luggage as well as the anti-trolley like this for no problem. And then you can also access to the rear seats from here. Now, let's check out the inside. Now, inside the Citroen EC4, this is deceptively spacious because from the outside, if you compare the height of my person to the car, it is rather confounding. But inside, as a 1.75 meters tall, I still have quite a bit of head space and leg space, especially considering that this is an electric vehicle. So there is space catered at the bottom for the battery. But still, my feet can go quite a bit deep inside and still there's plenty of leg space, especially because these seats concave inside on the back where these magazine pouches are, the seat actually goes inside. So you get an extra bit of leg space. And head space, I can sit very, very comfortably. Now, there is not gonna be a middle armrest, but if there's nobody in the middle, if you move on up, there will be quite a bit of a transmission tunnel right here. So you're gonna also eat into the space of your friends a little bit more. But at a squeeze for short trips, it should be able to squeeze five. Now, in terms of amenities, you're going to find USB-A and USB-C charging as well as aircon for the rear, which is pretty good for this segment. Now, over by the cockpit of the Citroen EC4, you're going to get a heads-up display with a la rather large piece of plastic so that you can see your information as well as the road through behind. And then your instrument cluster is going to be down here in a very new design that you also see inside the ICE C4 with a little bit of ambient lighting to highlight the rear. This is a nice refreshing way for the information to be displayed. And then of course, you're gonna get your three-spoke steering wheel with your Citroen logo and your driver aids here, as well as your media controls. Now down by the center, you have all your aircon controls and physical controls. So you can see the digital display on the screen, but also very physical, very usable dials. 
so that you don't have to look down on the screen. You can one touch, you can control your media controls, your icon controls. Very, very easy to use. Down here, you're also going to find a wireless charging station, a little bit more compartments, and then, of course, your drive selector, drive mode, and cubby holder for your water bottle and other things. And then down here, a central cubby holder with a space and also a little bit of an extender if you want a little bit of a longer armrest. Now, over by the passenger, this is a very interesting one. We have a pull-out holder for a proprietary Citroen tablet holder. So you buy the tablet holder for your tablet and then you can actually attach it here so that your front passenger can be entertained along the drive. Then along with that, you're also going to get your glove box, of course and a pull-out tray table for the tablet to be stored in. So very neat design all around. Now, does this car drive as well as it looks? One way to find out. So, driving the Citroen EC4, what does it feel like? Well, it's very familiar. It's pretty much the exact same car that slapped on with the EV and the battery instead of the engine. So it feels as comfortable. It's still very floaty, very boaty, like the regular C4, but a slightly little bit heavier. So it's a little bit lower. Your power delivery, of course, now is instant. I do miss that little bit of 1.2 turbo engine that, that I'm so quite very fond of because it really gives the car quite a bit of character. But at the same time, with this small electric motor, it's not too bad because your power is instant. It's not horrible, it's pretty zippy. But it's quite a little bit of a conundrum because if you compare it to the ICE version, well, this gives you slightly a little bit more horsepower, quite a bit more torque. Your 0 to 100 is still actually slower than your ICE counterpart. But in terms of power delivery, of course, it is on tap, on dial, very fast, very smooth. To me, feels that feeling that it's a French Citroen car. It's very telling. Within the cabin, it's still quiet because it's an electric vehicle. I think it's the way that the battery is underneath the seat, so I do feel a little bit of a giant. Or maybe it's because I've just grown that much since the previous review. But I do feel a little bit tighter within this cabin, and it doesn't help that the mirrors are also quite a bit small and it came up during the ICE version of the C4 but the mirrors in this car is really quite a bit tiny and there the little bit of orange in the mirror just did light up because of a uh, blind spot monitoring well inside this car I do feel like it is quite a bit tighter than before is it because really because of the battery I'm not sure or maybe it's just a little subconscious thing just knowing that it's an EV and that there's a battery somewhere I do feel a little bit more compact. If I do remember correctly, in the IC4, there is an option of a sunroof, so that will also help extend the roominess of the cabin. Now, in terms of handling, this is going to be a little bit more zippier. It's going to be a little bit more controllable because of its electric drivetrain, which, if you are looking for something to throw it a little bit more harder around the corners than this EC4, would be the better choice over the ICE C4. However, a car like this, in this segment, in this category, it's not 100% the kind of car to be going on at very high speeds anyway. So if you do take this uh, somehow into a really somewhere to test it, like let's say a track, interestingly, the top speed for this car is only 150 kilometers per hour. If you compare it to the ICE, I believe it's somewhere north of 200 kilometers per hour. Just which for most people would never ever come into the picture but just something to take note of between the two models one thing that i have to caveat for this car but actually not just for this car for many cars many evs that i find in this smaller battery range segment where i've driven about 80 kilometers since yesterday when i collected this it was at full charge so it showed me a range of 345 kilometers but after doing some around 80 kilometers last night, the range has dropped to somewhere in the range of 160 kilometers, which uh, to be fair to them, to be fair to Citroen, it's not, this is not the only car or the only brand that this happened. It usually happens within uh, car models 
of a smaller battery capacity. So it is something to take note of the paper range versus the actual range now from 345 to 160. Um, perhaps it's a little bit of the harder driving that I've been doing, but I'll leave that up for you to decide. Another thing about this EC4 is that I feel like this car is one of the rawest forms of convergence from ICE to EV in the sense that it really, 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 really still feels like an ICE car. You barely kind of find any hints of any EV-ness. In fact, there's no EV menu to see like my power distribution or no regenerative braking setting. There's a little electric button here, but it shows me programming to charge the car. There's no EV menu for me to select, like uh, say my drive mode. There is a drive mode button here that you also find within the ICE version of the C4. So it really feels like it's just a regular C4. There is another hint that it's an EV is within one of the instruments here. If I switch my dials over to minimum on my instrument cluster, this is where I see a charge eco and power meter, which kind of also maybe applies for hybrids instead of your tachometer. So that's kind of the only other hint that this is an EV. Apart from, of course, the badging. On the inside, you really, it really just kind of feels like an ice. And one little minor gripe with this car is that it has an electronic parking brake and it's an EV. I don't seem to be able to find a brake auto hold function or button so I don't believe it exists within the car or within the menus. Which actually brings me to another point. It's just because that this C4 is the EV version, I kind of feel like this mirror, while it has automatic dimming, should be, should have the function to go to a digital mirror because there is that little spoiler, mid spoiler in the rear that divides your vision. So that's where one of the few times that a digital rear view mirror will come in very useful. And after driving this around for a day or two, like, it's not a bad car. I still really enjoy it, but it's just priced up against some really strong consideration. So it's still a very comfortable car, very cozy. And most of all, I really like the way it looks. And with an electric drive chain, it's smoother. It's, it's more eager to run, but still it's priced up against some strong competitors. Another thing that makes this very, very comfortable is a very, very light steering wheel. So it's really suitable for, I guess, city driving. You can move it with one finger. Uh, the downside is that it is a little bit vague when it comes to handling, but I don't think this car is made for that. So is this EC4 a will buy, won't buy, or go try? Well, if you ask me, I think that this EC4 is a go try. Why? Because it has, number one, if you're looking at segment competitors, you're looking at the E2008, you're looking at the BYD Dolphin, and this EC4 comes at quite a bit of a premium. So immediately across the board, the price is a big factor. Now, if you're looking at, let's say, C4 specifically, you're looking at the EC4 versus the ICE C4. Now this car, even though its VES gets another $10,000 in rebates, it's still $15,000 more expensive than its petrol counterpart. So if you're talking about running costs, immediately it has to be, over the 10 years, $25,000 cheaper because first of all, $15,000 in upfront costs and then another $10,000 in annual road tax. So immediately, this car needs to justify at least 2.5k in running cost savings against the petrol C4. So that makes this a very tough consideration. And after all, this really still feels like just a regular C4, apart from the power delivery and of course, the charging status. So that's why this C4 to me is a go try. So that's it for a Citroen EC4 review. What do you think? Do you agree with us? 
do you disagree with us let us know down in the comments below as well as any other car that you'd like to see us review do leave it in the comments and i'll read every single one of these now if you've made it this far don't forget to like share and subscribe to us and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads also follow us on tiktok we are at sgkarmat thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one bye bye direction that you want oh somebody's calling hello deliver your parcel supposed to put at the doorstep but i want to confirm with you okay guys nice. mm.